Hi you guys, so I've had some comments on my um, DIY your own perfume, natural perfume video about people concerned that the, um, the organic vanilla extract that I was using as the base um, can, I guess, get on their skin or get on their clothes. I've never had that problem, but um, I figured I would make a new perfume with you today um, just because I can use something that's clear and um, then we don't even have to worry about that at all. Um, plus, you know, it's spring and I feel like I need to smell like roses and so that's why the basis of my perfume is going to be this rose flower water, which is actually from a cooking store. So this is, you know, you could eat this, drink this. Um, it smells kind of, it smells, it doesn't smell like, uh, like, you know, rose perfume. It smells like fresh cut roses. So I'm going to use that. I have my trusty blue, um, you know, spray bottle. So the blue is really good because, you know, you're not using any preservatives in these perfumes. And so, um, having the darker colored glass prevents the light from going in and basically, you know, making it degrade faster. So it keeps longer. So that's pretty good, which really is not relevant for me because I go through it so much. But anyway, so voila, I don't have my funnel, but you can see I'm going to use a steady hand and fill my bottle with rose water almost to the top. See, you know, you, you're not going to use a lot of essential oil, so you don't need to leave a lot of room. And then from here, so this is organic lavender. I kind of feel like lavender rose geranium is what I'm going to be going for today. So I'm going to go with 20 drops of this, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, can you see? 13, 19, 20. Okay, remember, this is your perfume that you're making. I mean, this is not yours, this is mine. <laughs> but if you're doing this at home, you know, it's your perfume. So use, give yourself room in your bottle that you're using and, you know, put in as much as you like, test it, smell it, and then add some more. So I'm gonna add a little rose geranium to this. This is again, USDA certified organic. Um, you can see the little USDA certified organic label on there. Um, I'm gonna go with, this is like rose scents typically are, you know, fairly strong. So I'm just gonna go with five of this. Come on, little rose geranium. Oh, it doesn't wanna come out. Okay. Let's take, so if it doesn't wanna come out, you know, you can always take this little dropper thing out that makes it do the drops. Okay, and then just kind of do it manually. Oh my God, it smells so good. Rose geranium smells so good. So I'm gonna assume that like that was like two little drops is about what five droppers from the drops from the dropper is. Did that make any sense at all? <laughs> all right. While I am shaking up my perfume before we attempt to smell it, I would like to remind you to please leave your comments below. Um, like my video, share it, and follow me at Rachel L. Sarnoff on Twitter. Let's test this. Amazing. Like a beautiful fresh cut rose in a field of lavender. So this is my summer scent and again, there's no color to it, right? So you don't have to worry about that getting on your clothes. Thank you so much. much that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you here, right here, back soon. And please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and share. Alright, I can stop now. <laughs> Thanks guys. Bye. See you soon.